I'm Nathan and I'm the build team manager for Team 3805 Atomic Robotics and I'm here to share with you some tips and tricks that we found useful to the construction of our field for the 2016-17 First Tech Challenge game, Velocity Vortex. So when you get your field kit, one of the first things you're going to want to build are the corner vortexes. Now for these you're going to need a total of 20 rivets, two on each top and then eight on the face. Uh, something else that we found while making the corner vortexes is that you're going to want to make sure, and this is imperative to the flow of the game, that you have like the kind of nubbin where the zip tie fits into itself underneath the part where the balls are going to be going because then the ball flow through and it can bounce and it can just cause inconsistencies in the game. Now we're going to be moving on to one of the other important parts, the center vortex. Another important thing that you should watch for when you're making the center vortex is that just like the corner vortexes, you're going to want to watch the zip ties so that the nubs aren't up because if they're up, just like for the corner vortexes, if a ball hits it, it could alter the flow of gameplay and cause inconsistencies in your match. So, when you're assembling your center vortex, something that's imperative to the smoothness of the gameplay is that the vortex is in the center of the field. What we did to ensure that is take out the four tiles in the center of the field, cut out the parts where they all connect in the center, and then slide it over this pole on which the center vortex rests. And then from there, we just trace the outline and then cut that to ensure that it would be in the exact center in the field or as close as we could get to it. Also something you're going to want to remember for the center field, or center vortex, is that there's these little, uh, like, nubbins. They're like little sticky tabs. They fall to the bottom of the box very easily, and it took a while for us to find them, and without them, the whole center is a bit unstable, so be sure to watch for those. That was our guide for helpful tips and tricks for setting up your 2016-2017 Velocity Vortex field. Uh, if you've got any questions or if we missed something, feel free to let us know in the comments or shoot us an email, which is going to be linked in the description. Uh, we're also going to be linking Game Manuals Part 1 and 2 in the description, so you can just get to those more easily if you haven't found them already. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.